your blood sugar just spiked by 70 points. And no, you didn't eat cake, drink soda, or binge on candy. Just a so-called healthy lunch. Brown rice, chicken breast, maybe an apple. But 45 minutes later, your glucose monitor is screaming. You're not alone. This silent sabotage happens to millions every day. And the worst part? Most people never see it coming. But here's the shocker. There are science-backed ways to slash blood sugar fast without starving yourself, giving up carbs, or drowning in medication. Some of them work in minutes. Others can lower your A1C in just a few weeks. So the question is, if these blood sugar fixes really work, why isn't everyone using them? Are doctors hiding something? Are we being misled by outdated advice? Or is the real solution buried beneath marketing fluff and medical jargon? In the next few minutes, you'll discover seven powerful strategies, all backed by real research. And one of them kicks in faster than anything else I've ever seen. Let's drop the first blood sugar bomb. Blood sugar bomb number one, H-I-I-T, high intensity interval training. Let's be clear, walking is good, but it's not fast. Resistance training is great, but it takes time. You want speed? Nothing drops blood sugar faster than HIIT. High intensity interval training. Quick, intense bursts of movement, like jump squats, sprinting, or cycling hard, send your muscles into panic mode. They burn through stored glucose almost instantly, then start sucking sugar straight from your bloodstream to refuel. And here's the kicker. They don't even need insulin to do it. A 2024 meta-analysis of 22 clinical trials confirmed it. HIT lowered A1C, fasting glucose, LDL, and triglycerides. Boosted HDL. And the results? Fastest in people under 60 or newly diagnosed. Why? Their cells still listen. Their insulin receptors aren't fried yet. But even if you're older, HIT still works. You just have to modify the intensity. Think 30 seconds all out, then rest. Repeat for five to seven rounds. That's it, done in under 10 minutes. And the payoff? You get 24 to 48 hours of increased insulin sensitivity after each session. Every single workout buys you time, real metabolic time, to stabilize blood sugar. Still think long walks are enough? Here's the hard truth. A seven-minute HIT session can outperform 45 minutes on the treadmill. That's the power of muscle in motion. And now you know why this is blood sugar bomb number one. Ready for number two? It might be sitting in your kitchen right now, and it's a liquid. But it's not what you think. Blood sugar bomb number two. Apple cider vinegar, ACV, one tablespoon. That's all it takes. Mix it in a glass of water and drink it 10 minutes before eating. The result? Blood sugar spikes after your meal can drop by 20 to 34 percent. That's not theory. It's shown in study after study. Apple cider vinegar works by slowing stomach emptying, which means your carbs hit the bloodstream more gradually. But that's not all. It also boosts how efficiently your muscles absorb glucose. Translation. Less sugar floating around, more sugar being used as fuel. Sounds perfect, right? Not so fast. There's a dark side. The same acid that helps your blood sugar also wears down your tooth enamel. And if you drink it straight or too often, it can burn your throat. One bad gulp and you'll feel the sting for hours. I've been there. Many people tolerate it fine. But daily use over time? Risky. That's why ACV is a blood sugar weapon, not a lifestyle. Use it strategically, not endlessly. Short-term spike? A CV can help. Long-term fix? You'll need something else. And that brings us to the next bomb, a natural compound studied in over 50 clinical trials. They call it nature's metformin. And when you combine it with a forgotten mineral that nearly half of diabetics are missing, the results are shocking. Let's keep going. Blood sugar bomb number three. Berberine plus magnesium glycinate. They call it nature's metformin. And for good reason. 
Berberine has been tested in over 50 human trials. The verdict? It lowers A1C, cuts fasting glucose, improves insulin resistance, and even supports lipid profiles. But here's what most people miss. Berberine works by activating AMPK, your cell's energy switch. Once it's on, your body burns fat more efficiently and pulls sugar out of the bloodstream faster. But that's only half the story. Because if your body is low in magnesium, and up to 48% of diabetics are, then berberine's full power never kicks in. Why? Magnesium is essential for proper insulin signaling. No magnesium equals poor glucose control, poor sleep, more resistance. It's the missing piece. That's why smart protocols always pair the two. Take 600 milligrams of berberine in the morning, 600 milligrams at night, with food. Then add 275 milligrams of magnesium glycinate before bed. That combo? Game changer. Magnesium glycinate is gentle, bioavailable, and doubles as a sleep aid. You'll rest deeper, recover faster, and wake up with better blood sugar. But here's the shocking part. Most people take berberine alone, expecting results, while their body screams for magnesium. Don't let that be you. This is a combo play. Alone, they help. Together, they transform. Still think supplements don't matter? The next method needs no pills. Just your feet and 15 minutes after every meal. Blood sugar bomb number four, post-meal walk. Forget 10,000 steps. Forget hour-long walks. You only need 15 minutes right after eating. That's it. Just stand up, step outside, and move. Why? Because during movement, your muscles pull glucose from your blood without needing insulin. It's called contraction-mediated glucose uptake. No injections, no pills, just walking. A 2017 randomized crossover study proved it. 15 minutes of walking after meals lowered post-meal blood sugar better than one big 45-minute walk. Let that sink in. Three short walks beat one long one. Why? Timing. Glucose spikes fast after eating. Walk at the right moment and you stop the spike before it starts. The best part? It's free. No equipment, no excuses. Just lunch, then walk. Dinner, then walk. Even inside your home, walking in circles counts. Every step activates the glucose vacuum. So if you're sitting after meals, you're wasting a massive opportunity. This fix is so simple, most people overlook it. Don't be one of them. 15 minutes, twice a day, that's all. Now imagine combining that with the next method, a strategy that stops blood sugar spikes at the source by simply changing when you eat. Blood sugar bomb number five, fasting and fasting, mimicking diets. Want to crush blood sugar fast? Stop eating strategically. Fasting isn't starvation, it's timing. When you eat matters just as much as what you eat. The most popular method? 16 to 8 fasting. You fast for 16 hours, eat within an 8-hour window. For example, stop eating at 7 p.m., eat again at 11 a.m. Water, tea, black coffee allowed. What happens? Insulin levels drop. Your body taps fat for fuel, and blood sugar stabilizes naturally. But here's where it gets smarter. FMD. Fasting Mimicking Diet. It tricks your body into thinking it's fasting, even though you're still eating specific nutrients. No hunger, no crash, just cellular magic. Research from Dr. Walter Longo shows that doing FMD just five days a month can lower fasting glucose, reduce belly fat, improve insulin sensitivity, and drop A1C in weeks. Why? Your body stops storing and starts burning. Damaged cells repair. Inflammation falls. Your system resets. But here's the trap. Most people try random fasting. Skip breakfast, binge at dinner, feel weak, then quit. That's not science. That's sabotage. True fasting, when done right, doesn't drain you. It energizes you. Just don't go in blind. Know your numbers. Stay hydrated. Ease in. And if you're not ready to fast, that's okay. The next method works even if you eat three meals a day. 
as long as you build something first. Muscle. Blood sugar bomb number six. Resistance training. Walking activates the vacuum, but resistance training upgrades it. Why? Because muscle is your body's glucose warehouse. The more lean muscle you build, the more sugar your body can store and burn. Less sugar in the blood, more control in your hands. Here's the twist. You don't need to lift heavy weights. Body weight exercises work, resistance bands work, push-ups, squats, rows, presses, just three to four sessions per week, 30 to 40 minutes each, focused on full body movements. Every workout makes your cells more sensitive to insulin, not just during the session, but for hours afterward. Think of it this way. Cardio flips the switch, but muscle keeps the lights on. No muscle, no storage. No storage? Blood sugar stays high. And here's the missed opportunity. Most people with diabetes avoid strength training, thinking it's too intense or not necessary. That's a lie. It's the most underused weapon in the fight. Every rep you do isn't just about strength. It's about reclaiming control over your metabolism. Want to burn more sugar even while sleeping? Build more muscle. Simple. Now combine that with our final blood sugar bomb, one that works while you're lying in bed. Literally. Blood sugar bomb number seven. Sleep and stress management. One bad night can ruin everything. Sleep just four to five hours and your insulin sensitivity drops by 25% the very next day. Your body becomes glucose resistant even if you eat perfectly and exercise hard. That's how powerful sleep is. But most people with diabetes ignore it. Or worse, they accept poor sleep as normal. Here's the truth. Without deep, consistent rest, your blood sugar won't cooperate, no matter what else you do. And then there's stress. It spikes cortisol, the hormone that tells your liver to dump sugar into your bloodstream. Chronic stress equals chronic sugar dump. So if you're stressed and sleep deprived, your body is in blood sugar chaos 24 seven. What's the fix? First, magnesium glycinate, 275 milligrams before bed. It relaxes muscles, calms the brain, and supports insulin function. Second, ashwagandha, 655 milligrams with black pepper for absorption, lowers cortisol, improves sleep quality, and resets your stress response. Third, breathwork, not guided meditations, not complicated rituals, just five minutes of deep, slow breathing while lying in bed. That's it. It slows your heart rate, drops your nervous system into rest mode, and sets the stage for real recovery. You can't out-supplement bad sleep. You can't out-exercise stress. Fix these two, and the rest becomes easier. Now that you've seen all seven, what's next? Let's wrap it up. You've just seen the seven fastest ways to lower blood sugar. No fluff, no hype. HIT turns your muscles into sugar-burning machines. ACV blocks spikes before they happen. Berberine and magnesium, metabolic power combo. Walking after meals, silent weapon, fasting and FMD, full reset, resistance training, long-term control, sleep and stress, the hidden battlefield. Now here's the truth. You don't need all seven. Pick two or three. Start this week. Track your numbers. Feel the difference. Because blood sugar isn't just about numbers. It's energy, clarity, freedom. But if you wait, nothing changes. The spikes continue. The fatigue grows. And control slips further away. So the choice is yours. Stay stuck or fight back. Your body is ready. Now it's your move. Still not sure where to begin? Start with the one that feels easiest. Maybe it's walking after meals. Maybe it's adding magnesium at night. Or just shifting your eating window. Don't overcomplicate it. Blood sugar control is built on consistency, not perfection. Even one change can lower your next spike. Two changes? You'll see it in your A1C. Three? That's momentum. And remember, the goal isn't just lower numbers, it's energy in the morning, clearer thinking, stable mood, fewer cravings, better sleep.
It's waking up without fear of the next test result. You deserve that. But no supplement, no workout, no diet can help if you don't move. Right now. Not next week. Not when it gets easier. Because it won't. But you can. So take action today. Pick one blood sugar bomb. Try it for seven days. Then come back. See how your body responds. You're not broken. You're not stuck. Your body is waiting for you to take control. And now you have the tools to do it.